morning guys welcome back to the channel I got a little surprise for all of you well first uh, we're expecting the largest rainstorm ever to hit you know how the weather people are they make everything dramatic uh, over the next three or four days so we're gonna be here in the garage but you may see something going on out here in the time-lapse let me show you what we got going on so some of you that are regular subscribers of the channel may have noticed this in the background of some most recent videos so let me get you caught up on to what the heck is going on here now this was an idea that Willow came up with she wanted to create a trailer or buy a trailer actually that would work on both the Subarus and Abel so I came up with the idea that, heck, I already built one deck over trailer. Why can't we build something a little bit on a smaller scale that would work for everything? So here's what we're going to do. Um, probably about nine months ago, I told Willow to start looking for some torsion axles. And strangely enough, she came across the exact same ones that I used on the M1083A1 trailer build. Uh, these are 5,200 pound axles. There was originally two of them. We got both of them for 200 bucks. One of them was uh, bent. So that one was just turned into salvage. So we basically chopped it up uh, and then hung on to the hubs. You probably aren't going to see this because it's so dark out here, but we hung on to the hubs for spare parts. So you're caught up now to where we're kind of sitting at. The mounts on this axle were trashed, so Willow cut them off and put some brand new mounts on there. She went through the whole process because these are, of course, not solid axles like everybody in the comments section on the last one thought. These are torsion axles. If you don't know what a torsion axle is, go on Google and check it out. They're really interesting. Um, they last an average of 25 years under normal use. 50 years if they're rarely used. Um, they're really great. Um, axles there's no sway transfer so like if you have a leaf spring trailer with the solid axles that go across and the leaf springs if you get a sway it will transfer it to the other side and then the trailer starts tail wagging behind your vehicle these you can pretty much load up any way you want tongue weight or not they're not gonna sway so uh, it's just the way that they behave under load these are 5200 pound like I said earlier so basically what I want to do, and I drew out a little picture here. These are not to scale, obviously, but this was kind of my idea. So we're going to build a small deck over trailer and it's going to be the reverse of what you think. So normally when you pull a trailer, it would be, you know, four or five foot wide by six foot long. So this one is going to be eight foot wide by five foot long. So if you can imagine a deck over that's eight foot wide by five foot long, that's kind of what we're going to build here. And it's going to have a little gate on it that folds down off of the passenger side uh, to load motorcycles and scooters. And, you know, there might be something else coming up on the channel that has to do with snow that could go on these. Um, but anyhow, we've got enough steel to get this going. It's going to be very similar to the triple axle, but it's going to be on a smaller scale. There's going to be a buyer's box up front on the tongue once again, because those are pretty popular and I'm able to get them for pretty cheap on Amazon. Um, so today what I think we're going to focus on, and I may get further than this in this video, is the tongue or the subframe basically, and the uprights to hold the deck over on. And for those of you that are looking for perfection, this is the wrong channel. I didn't I'm notorious for not making anything perfect. There are gonna be some imperfections on this. This is a budget, quick, get it done, um, and get it going type build. I'm gonna be using a lot of the same components I used on the seven ton trailer. And uh, just wanna give you guys a heads up that the price of steel has greatly increased. Uh, so you see all the steel on this table here. I mean, we've got square tube, round tube, um, angle, flat, all of this stuff nine months ago cost about 300 bucks. 
Yesterday I went to pick up square tube and expanded metal. And so you guys are not gonna believe this. So one piece of square tube, 20 foot long, cut in half, was 240 bucks. This is not stainless, this is mild steel. Nine months ago, this would have bought you two pieces of stainless in the same size. Um, and then the three quarter expanded metal, about two sheets of those, they were 116 a piece. Those are normally about 100 bucks anyway, but for whatever reason, um, square tube and round tube and all that stuff is skyrocketing through, and that was with a discount. So, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you if you're gonna try to do a project. So far, uh, the amount of money we put into this was uh, 200 bucks for the initial torsion axles. Um, we had some spare steel sitting aside. Uh, 300 bucks for all the steel that's on the bottom of the table and then another 500 for the uh, extra steel that I had to purchase. The two wheels and tires were about 300 bucks. I had to order another one and strangely enough that went up too. These were normally 100 bucks a piece when I did the triple axle. So I ordered a spare which was another 177 bucks and then I ordered all the accessories, the buyer's box, lighting, electrical, everything else that we needed which was about another 600, 700 bucks. So maybe about, I don't know, close to two grand, maybe a little bit over that to uh, build a unique and nice utility trailer. In Oregon, we don't have to put license plates on utility trailers, so um, this should be a pretty good deal. Or I don't have to go through getting a VIN and all that crap like I had to with the seven ton trailer. But anyhow, um, this is going to kind of be a tag team project. Willow's part of it, and she's uh, uh, down in the basement right now doing a workout. And when she's done, she's going to come out and help. But uh, yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Enjoy the time lapse, and uh, I'd love to see your comments down in the comment section.
Willow wanted to show you guys her, her new toy. So she's pretty proud of her new toy here. Yeah. So we started at about 7 a.m. this morning. I was out here a little bit before Willow getting the garage set up. And right now it is 423. So two people, one day, uh, and we started with just the bare axle. Um, this is a great start. It's probably about three quarters of the way done. There's a bunch of welding. Obviously, I have to do on the um, traction plate or the expanded metal, but uh, we got a few tack welds on it. It'll take a few more tack welds to complete it, but it sure will look nice when we're done. Took a couple of uh, spare pieces of metal from the uh, snowcat that we ripped apart and I saved, and those are going to be the 
mud and water fenders so if we go off road or we're driving down the freeway there's not a big rooster tail of water flying everywhere or gravel, or gravel. Um, buyer's box is gonna sit in the front here like normal little uh, four foot by 18 inch buyer's box we'll probably put a spare tire down there in that space since it will be unutilized um, what else can I tell you guys? Oh yeah, electron, electrics and lights and all that stuff are on the way. Um, I have plenty of trailer wire to, to finish this, but... And the spare tire. Yeah, and the spare tire is on the way too, so... I ordered all that stuff. That should be here within the next week or two, so this build will continue. Um, I caught fire today. Willow started herself on fire. That was I don't know how many episodes this is going to be, but I will keep filming um, as we work on it all the way to the finish line. If I were to guess, I would say four or five episodes. So for you guys that are looking to do a quick build on a trailer, it is possible to do one of these builds with two people pretty quickly. Um, there's not really much to it. And we left the tongue long because we don't know where we're going to cut it off yet, but it's, I think it's going to be cut off right there on that silver line. So it shouldn't be too long or too big of a trailer. Um, we're going to do a flip down gate, see if we like it. If we don't like it, we'll do slide in ramps. So there's a ton of options here and yeah, we're both pretty exhausted. So we're going to go in the house and get cleaned up. But if you like this video, put like, if you're not a subscriber yet, we'd love to have you as a subscriber on our channel. Click the little notification bing, bing, bell so you can get updates and notifications when we're pumping out some new content for you. And uh, we always take care of each other. It's crazy times. Have a great afternoon, evening, morning, whatever it is. We'll catch you later on the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.